Hey guys, Benji D here from GetFix. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna be showing you how to reset your Windows password without losing any of your information or data. Now, I'm gonna let you know this right now. This method is actually way better than the one I previously had in the past. The previous method I was using in the past required that you install the Windows Media Creation Tool and then install it on a USB flash drive and then factory reset your computer through a series of processes that took over about 40 minutes to an hour. Now, that process took a lot longer than this one. Today's video is brought to you by PassFab. They are the ones sponsoring this video. Let's get started. Out of all the years that I've been doing this, I have never seen a method work so damn well. The process itself is not at all tedious. Matter of fact, it only takes a few minutes to get this done. So you're not gonna spend the whole day or a few hours here just to factory reset your computer and lose everything. Instead, you're gonna have all your information back all you're going to be doing is restoring the password or recovering the password. The password, the password. I don't have the password. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. Provide a pin. I forgot my pin. Nothing's working. No, no, no. Hey, okay, guys. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to bypass the lock screen on your Windows computer on pretty much any Windows laptop or desktop computer without having a factory reset your device and losing all your information and documents. You're gonna have to use a different computer. I'm gonna be using this one in order to pull up the program, download it, and install the OS file that I need. I'm gonna let you know right now, this method works on both Macs and Windows devices. I am gonna have a link to a product down in the video description below. It is called For Window Key. Step one, download the program, link down in the video description below, check. Step two, once four window key is downloaded, you're gonna have two options. The first one is CD slash DVD drive is where you're gonna burn the ISO file into. And the option two is a USB flash drive. You're also able to use a hard drive if you want to. You don't have to use the USB flash drive. If you have an external hard drive, you could also use that. We're gonna go ahead and connect our hard drive or flash drive onto the computer. That's step one. Step two, we're gonna select USB flash drive. Now step three, we're gonna click the drop down menu and we're gonna locate the hard drive. If you connect your hard drive onto your computer and you still don't see it popping up nowhere, for example, on the this PC section of File Explorer, and right there should be your hard drive, but if it's not popping up whatsoever, it may be unallocated. Now, if you wanna learn exactly how to allocate your unallocated hard drive, I am gonna have a link to that video down in the video description below. Wow, so what's going on there? Let me try sticking a USB flash drive onto it and see if it makes a difference. There it is, so driver D. So we're gonna go back to the previous page. Here it is, USB flash drive D. We're gonna select it and click burn, feel the burn. You are gonna have a pop-up that says the USB flash drive will be erased and all the data in the drive will be lost. Do you want to continue? We're gonna click the yes option. Formatting USB drive. Correct me if I'm wrong, I do believe you may need four gigabytes of space in order for this to work. I could be incorrect, it might be eight, it might be two. We're about to find out. That USB flash drive is only two gigabytes of space, so I may have to find something that's a little bit bigger. All right, so here's what you're able to do with this USB flash drive. You're able to insert it to create a password reset disk into your targeted computer. You're able to restart your Windows PC, press F12 or F1, F2, F8, F10, delete to enter boot mode. Depending on the computer you have, I am gonna have a list that's gonna show you the buttons you have to press in order to enter the boot menu. Different computers require different buttons in order to enter the boot menu. All right, number four, select boot from password reset disk. Status, you have created a bootable USB flash drive successfully. Bow. Okay, so I guess you're not gonna need a flash drive that's any more than two gigabytes. That worked just fine. Once you have the program installed on the flash drive, here's what we're gonna do next. Step one, plug your USB flash drive into your computer. Step two, you wanna turn off the computer completely. So I'm gonna hold the power button until it powers off. There it is. Now for some keyboards, it requires that you hold the FN key before you're able to tap F12 or else you'll just be putting the volume up. That FN key triggers F12. That's why they're both blue. It didn't say any prompts or anything down here, so I'm assuming it's about to load back up to Windows. We're gonna turn that off right now. Now let's try F8. 
Okay, so for my laptop, it is F8. For yours, it might be F10, F12, F8, F6, F4, F2, F1. Okay, so your PC didn't start correctly. Obviously, we're gonna go into the, the advanced options section. Advanced options. Use a device, um, use a USB device, network connection, or Windows recovery disk. We're gonna choose that option. It allows us to use that USB drive, so I guess this screen worked too. So we have three options on the side here. So select Windows Manage Accounts Process. I'm gonna go over to desiusbng1 at gmail.com. That is my account. And I'm gonna type in S2472. All right, instead of removing the password, I did enter a new password so it could override the pin that's currently on the lock screen. I'm gonna go into next. All right, so it says congratulations. Password recovery procedure completed. Please reboot your computer. Before you reboot, you do wanna pull out the USB flash drive and then click reboot. Restart now. Congratulations, the changes about the Windows account has become effective. We're gonna click OK. Now, because I changed the password, I believe it just logged me in without even asking me for it. Loading, I guess. Oh, wow, I didn't put in no password. It just went right through to my computer. That's funny as heck, that's kind of fishy. So I'm gonna lock the computer and then see what happens. I'm gonna see if it updated its uh, password that I input for my computer lock screen or if it's still the old one. I hope it updated it, but it did put me on the home screen of my computer without me even having to type in anything. So let's just see what happens here. Sleep, there it is. I guess. Oh, there it is. And there you have it, guys. If you have any questions or concerns about the product, definitely let me know what it is down in the comments below. I'm also going to have the product itself down in the video description below. That pretty much has it up for today's video, guys. Benji D here from Get Fix. I always fuck up on the same video. And I'm out. Ooh, shit. I almost said peace. Peace.